procrastinate. I'm sure we all do it at one time or another, whether it's waiting last minute to study for an exam, to clean out the garage, or even to start a new diet or exercise program. There's at least one thing that drives each of us to drag our heels. For me, if something needs to be done that first requires making a phone call, I'll usually push it off until the very last possible minute. Why? Because of an intense and unexplainable fear of the phone. This ridiculous phobia has made phone calls very difficult for me. I would much rather send an email or text. Imagine having this kind of fear and working in an office setting before texting or emails were even a thing. Yep, that was me before I became a mom. Every day that daggum phone would ring and I would have to answer it, not knowing who was on the other end or why they were calling. I even held a couple jobs where covering for the receptionist up front was a requirement. Answering all incoming calls and transferring them to the right department while greeting people as they came in. All the admins would have a turn doing this each week during lunch hour, and I would dread it. Growing up, my mom always made lots of calls to put an ad in the paper or to set up an appointment, which was fine. But the calls she made to complain to whomever about an error on a bill or a problem with a new appliance or bad service at a restaurant, those were the calls that were hard for me to witness. She had no problem letting the person on the other end of the line know that she was displeased. She seldom raised her voice, but she was very firm and wouldn't hesitate to ask to speak to a manager. I always felt sorry for the person on the other end of the line. I'd be thinking, what if it was their first day on the job? What if they weren't feeling well but had to go to work anyway? Or maybe they were already having a bad day and mom's call was just making it worse. I've always been an empathetic person, so witnessing what I thought was an attack on some unknown, innocent person on the other end of the line might have been what led me to my fear of the phone. It wasn't just the calls at work that caused extreme anxiety for me. It was even the calls received at home. In the days before caller ID, I had no idea what to expect when that phone would ring. A telemarketer? Some random, angry, crazy person? When we got our first answering machine, I was very relieved. I just didn't answer and let them leave a message. Of course, returning calls was another fun experience. Hello, thank you for calling, blah, blah, blah. How may I help you? Uh, yes, I'm returning your call. Wait, who called you? I didn't catch the name, but someone there left a message. Do you know what it was regarding? Um, no. Let me transfer you. Uh, okay. I'm no longer working outside the home, so I don't have to worry about the angry customer. However, I've found that making calls is just as hard. And as an adult, you cannot avoid it. Setting up utilities, making appointments, calling for estimates. Whenever a change is made or an error occurs, you have to pick up the phone. And being a stay-at-home mom, the responsibility of making those calls falls on me. Yay! I don't suppose things will change anytime soon, so I'll continue to deal with my phone fear and procrastinate when necessary. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. See you next time.